It breaks my heart to see my brothers and sisters living in a teen. When our forefathers had the land, we were the next of kin. If Mama Winnie wasn't part of the struggle, it wouldn't have been deep. She would fight and she would bleed just so the next generations would be free. Here we are today, we got the youth sitting home with diplomas and degrees. It's easy for teens to get lost in the streets. Poor quality homes that can't last through the storm. Not everybody is where they belong. I passed a black man crying his heart out to a white man. He was leaving his job when he was just sad. He talked about his dedication and his hard work. It breaks my heart to see my people still doing so much labor work. I pray this story changes. I hope we start building. Get to buy more land. I pray for more life and peace in our communities. I pray the brothers protect the sisters. I pray for more blessings. You see what I see when I'm out in the streets kinda scares me. The lack of respect some men have, but when you move in the white communities, it's cool for you to walk carefree. So we gotta move to the other side of the land to get respect. I was sad when I realized that people will respect you only when you have a title. Can't you what happened to Ubuntu? I saw a black young man hit an old Indian woman. How many times must we tell these brothers never to lay their hands on a woman? What if someone did that to the woman that birthed you? Holy Spirit, come down, make Africa safe, black lives, all lives matter all around the world. Give us this day our daily breath and please God, get us back the land. For we forgive those who trespass against us, but lead our brothers not to temptation or to ever touch our sisters. And may the ones put before us save us. May the police protect our people and not use any guns against us. Amen.